Uhu. Huh? Ah! Hey guys, this is Jim. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. This is the one, isn't it? <laughs> ah, episode, what are we up to? 14 of O3 Minecraft, our 1.10.2 modded Minecraft series. <gasps> yes, we got a mask, guys. We At the end of the last episode, we got the mask from uh, the Barakoa King. I think that's his real name, something like that. Uh, and the texture was missing and the model was missing, but I've updated Mousy's mobs and this is what the mask looks like. <laughs> now there's a bit of flickering on the bits sticking out around it, as you can see. I don't know if that's because of another mod interfering with this one. Potentially it could be Optifine or something jittering it like that. It's a bit, um, bit annoying, but it's but it looks pretty good. Uh, and uh, we did get a buddy last time, but he died. Oh, poor little Barracoa buddy. Yeah, he... Uh, I, I put him in one of our balloons, guys, and he kind of tried to leave the balloon and died. Yeah, he was sitting in there with... I had him flying around with me for a while, but uh, yeah, he... Uh, he kind of went died. <laughs> but I've caught a whole bunch more because there's something else we can do. Uh, let's get one of you guys. So I've got the mask on. Good. And let's click him down. So he's not our buddy. He's not our. He's not going to be um, looking after us, but he's not attacking us because we've got the mask on. But the one thing we can do... Yes, indeed. <laughs> we can trade with him. Uh, Parker Kid let me know in the comments that with the mask on here, we can um, we can trade. So... Oh. Whoops. Maybe we can't trade with you. Oh, and I hit him, so he's mad. Uh, uh, <laughs> hang on. Wait, let's grab uh, one of the other ones. Oh, he's after us still. Hey! <laughs> There. So, that guy. Now, can we trade with you? No, we can open that. Hang on, I'm sure I tested this earlier. Hey. Ah, hmm. Uh, huh. Huh. I, I, <laughs> I tested this earlier, guys. I had the mask on and I was able to trade with, with one. I didn't actually do any trades, I just saw one. Huh. He's mad, though, so... Hang on, where's my inventory gone? What happened to my inventory? It's all over the shop. Oh, is that that thing where it does that thing? <laughs> right, axe it is. Ha! 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 ha. Ow! <laughs> You're gonna kill me in my own sorting base? Ooh. You? Uh-oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Let's just run away for a bit. Where's me stuff going? <laughs> this is not the way to start an episode, mate. Will you leave me alone? Oh, where's my thing? Ah, yes. Welcome to episode 14. Alright. <laughs> uh, now, did they despawn when I let them go? Yes, they did. Ah, what a shame. I, uh, I ended up back at the spawn point. So, uh, oh no, he's over there. Okay, he's happy. Now, actually, now. Whoa. <laughs> Will you trade with us now? No. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, moving on, guys. Uh, when the, when our little buddy died, he we lost his mask, so we can't make another buddy for now. But as long as I keep this mask on, I think we can keep that guy around. Uh, now, last episode. What are we going to do today? Oh, that is too big. That is too big, too. Let's, let's just change this as well, by the way. Our one probe. Let's uh, just scale it down a bit. Can we scale? How's that? That didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, I had a poll in the last episode, and I should have tested it, guys, before we had the episode, uh, because it wasn't very good. It was kind of hidden. There was this little eye. You might have seen it. Sometimes it appeared, sometimes it didn't. Uh, in the top of the screen, there was a little eye. And, um, yeah, so our poll was a little bit of a... The whole experiment was a little bit of a failure, alas. <laughs> uh, however, it looks like somebody managed to find it, one or two people. So there were two votes for Voidcraft, uh, one for Voidcraft and one for Astral Sorcery. Uh, now, I've got a very old version of Voidcraft and uh, it, I tried to update it and it's not working when I update. So we're going to do Astral Sorcery instead. Uh, yes, so for Astral Sorcery, we need a, uh, let's have a look at Astral Sorcery's stuff. 
Uh, we're going to need to make the journal. Now to do this we need some aquamarine and some parchment which is some paper and some more aquamarine. Now I don't actually have any aquamarine so we might have to go have a look around see if we can find some. Wait, wait, wait. Shift click. Oh Shift there, right click. Right there we are. We can trade. So he's got raw chicken for three gold nuggets. That's not a very good deal, mate. Right <laughs> but I wonder if he's, they've got other trades. So chicken. Chicken. Ah, lovely. We do. Will this unlock more trades if we do this? Like a villager? Or is it like is it just have one, one trade? Huh. Okay, what about you? Now, if I shift click you, you. You. you know. ah, interesting. Okay. Astral Sorcery. Yeah, turns out I had a journal. <laughs> it was one of the books we were given when we uh, first added the mod in our little bookshelf over there. Alright, so. Discovery. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we. Whoops! Huh. A bit different the controls here. <laughs> okay, constellation paper. Hmm, looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit of reading. I think I don't want to read all this on camera, obviously, because then it'll take forever. Can we go back? Yes, like that. Ancient shrines. Ma. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. I just got these constellation papers. We we collected these already. I had just had them stored away here. And as soon as I did that, as soon as I picked them up again, we've got some things come up. You memorize a drawing of Discedia. Discedia? <laughs> you add a tab to the journal to keep track of it. Memorize a drawing of Vicio Avetti's armorer. <laughs> Aha! Ooh, there you go. Ooh. So they like constellations, I think. Ah, and now that gets added to our journal here, does it? Ah, pages. Oh, hang on. There we are. Oop. Aha, uh -huh. no? Ooh, shift does some interesting things there. <laughs> ah, whoops, and there's a little bit of a sync problem there. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. so, okay, very cool. Right, now, I think we need to go find one of the, uh, one of the buildings from that we've seen around the place from Astral Sorcery before I get a... Nope, we don't have that. Let's just do this. We're going to need a crafting table, I think. Oop. So we're getting used to the using this. So there's one just down over this way a bit. Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes, over this direction. While we're going, I've had these things clogging up one of my uh, bags for a while. We haven't opened a weapons loot for a while. Oop. 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 And what did we get? We got there. Fourth edition rarity con speed one. I think we've already got. A speed 2 one, haven't we? Hmm. Alright, let's go for a sword. See what the sword's like. And that one. Oh, I think we've already got that one. Let's do another sword. I'm getting there eventually. <laughs> Climbing this mountain probably to go down it again. Whoop, there we are. Uh, Mega Mage Blade. Attack damage 9. Okay. Hmm, not bad. What about this one? Very tricky. <laughs> And that one is Balanced Sword. Quality broken. Oh, that's not very good. And only attack damage 9. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's see. What have we got here? Lots of marble. This is meant to be very good stuff, apparently, for maybe attracting the starlight. Oops. <laughs> Didn't actually mean to do that. Oop, oop. Uh, hmm. Let's head down here. Ooh, crystals. Fancy crystal. Let's put down our crafting table. Does it do anything? Yes. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> ah, aquamarine. Excellent. Good. That's what we want. Uh, hmm. Are you unlocking anything? Did you unlock anything? Hmm. 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 Yes. Hmm put it maybe right there. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. okay. It's a little bit later. Uh, I've had to do some exploring around. I found a new 
uh, astral sorcery little structure here in new terrain. So now you can see there's a bit of a, a line there going along from the crystal down to the crafting table. So hopefully that means we can craft the things with the things if I get the things i.e. the ingredients. Uh, now we should be able to do this. Can we do this now? Yes. 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 Okay. So normally you can't craft this resonating wand here in a crafting table. You can only do it when there's that little line going down like that. Okay. Now I think we can also craft if I grab some of this sooty marble. Uh, so this is just some of the marble around some coal. Now can we also do one of this, 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 and this? Yes, that works as well. Okay, this wasn't working earlier either. Aha! You've learned more about exploration. Ooh, we've got a luminous crafting table. Very good. So I gather that's then unlocked some stuff into our book here. Aha, uh -huh. ooh, exploration. Let's zoom in on this. Like so. Oop, ooh, there we go. Aha, uh -huh. so some more goodies for us to read up on here and to start moving towards as well. Nice. Well, guys, yes, it is indeed quite a while later. Um... It's actually been over a month since I recorded the first half of this episode. <laughs> uh, things happened, you know, got sidetracked with other things, and um, turns out, guys, I'm, I'm not really a, uh, a magic mod person. There's nothing... You know, Astral Sorcery is probably a really good mod uh, if you like magic mods, and it turns out I'm not really a, a magic mod person. I'm more of a, of a tech mod person. Uh, funnily enough, I still like, you know, exploring new dimensions and things like Twilight Forest and things that we've been doing on our other series and Advent of Ascension, which are kind of like magic, but, um, yeah, some mods I just can't get into, which is, uh, so there you go. <laughs> so, with that having been said, guys, we're going to switch gears right now, and we're going to take a look at Cyberware. So, a bit of change of direction right in the middle of an episode. Um, yes, <laughs> hope you don't mind. Um, let's see, we need, I, the reason, by the way, I'm looking at cyber, cyber wear is because my armor is broken. <laughs> this has kind of been temporary, this, uh, this silence gem stuff here. It's not very good, we haven't got any enchantments on it. So I thought, let's have a look at cyber wear. Uh, what do we need to get? We need a robo-surgeon and craft a surgery chamber. Okay, now, oh, the other thing was, um, why am I here? <laughs> I'm, I'm also thinking, guys, we've, we've lacked a little bit of direction in this series. Um, I'm thinking we might come back here and have an actual main base here, rather than just our future pack. Given we've got sort of plenty of space and things, this might be a good spot to have multiple sort of tech-based mods being housed here. We can clean up all this bit um, and maybe house some things here. Yeah, we might even move our storage back here. Haven't been very inspired with my storage base. It's been a little bit... Well, it wasn't very good, was it, guys? <laughs> in terms of its build and look. Uh, but I have, since last episode and since five minutes ago, made uh, the remote inventory, inventory panel. Are you a cyber zombie that we can get stuff from? No. <laughs> uh, so I can access our stuff. But this takes... Well, this is actually Jewel of the Void or something that this thing needs. It's, yeah, very strange. So, yeah, you got to give it power and see if you look at the tooltip there. 925 millibuckets of Jewel of the Void, which is really annoying to craft. Uh, but anyway, we've got remote access. So what do we need? We needed a Robo... Robo Surgeon. Uh, now, we found this in a loot chest. This is where you get this from. Uh, but we also need, what was the other thing? A surgery chamber. Surgery chamber. Surgery. This thing, which takes that. So we can craft one of these. Do we not get the little uh, JEI integration thing here? No, we don't with the remote. So when we're accessing, accessing the inventory panel from the main thing, we get a little cross plus there to be able to craft things, and we don't here. Oh, that's a that's a bit of a bummer. It means I'm going to have to look things up. Iron. Why are we not seeing anything on our storage system? Hang on, something's something's amiss. 
Where's our stuff? Where's our stuff? Maybe that's why. Hmm, hang on. We've got power, and it's got that Jewel of the Void stuff, and we've linked it. Allows you to access an infantry panel from anywhere in the same dimension. We're in the same dimension. There it is. Interesting, guys. Interesting. So now, can we craft... Or did I just have the search term there? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, interesting. I'm not sure what happened there, guys. Maybe some glitchy, glitchy kind of thing. Mm. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, yes, waffling on enough here. <laughs> oh, and I'm typing the wrong thing. Here we go, this. We need a door. Bang. Nope. <laughs> All right, we'll just do that then. Fine. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah, mm hmm. Hmm. Hmm, 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 guys. It's, uh. Yeah, we definitely crafted one of those, didn't I? And I put it back in the system? Yes? Hmm. Hmm, interesting, guys. It seems, um, some things. We keep, we keep having to close the, uh, the remote here and open it again. Um. Now, the problem is, whenever we open it, we consume 25 millibuckets of Jew of the Void. Yeah, and as I mentioned, that that's hard to the, hard to make. Here it is, Jew of the Void. Uh, you craft it with this, which is one of these crushed, which is that. So that's not too bad. Uh, but this other stuff here, grains of the end, that's one of these, which takes an Enderman and a vibrant crystal. So it's quite a process to craft that stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I just opened it and consumed another 25 millibuckets. <laughs> uh, okay, where are we going to put our robo-surgeon? Uh, uh, hmm, I need to build something. There's definitely some glitches with this, guys, because now I can't even access anything. So if I close it and open again, now I can. Yeah. I think there might be a config option in, um... Uh, in Ender.io's configs to stop it having to need this this nutrient and dew of the void stuff. I might have to look at turning it off, particularly if it's going to be glitchy like that. Um, then I don't think it's really worth it. So, yeah, I'm trying to make some stone. How can I make stone in here? In here. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I think... I think this is pretty good for a start. Just a nice little room with some big <laughs> holes. Yeah, we might. Uh, yeah, we might make sure we put some windows in. I'm just not sure what to use yet, uh, and I'm not sure about the roof. But we're up here, just uh, just back here above, looking down over there. Our original base, yes, whoops, <laughs> is there. Uh, our little hole in the ground there. So we're up there, and that's just a temporary pillar. Uh, I'm gonna get back up there now. Oh, I wish I can do this. <laughs> Whoop. There we go. Whew. Okay, let's put down our Robo Surgeon. Uh, let's see, I think. If we put him sort of right against the wall there, like that, and then the uh, the Robo Surgeon goes on top, like that. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Let's, let's look at that again. Oh, is it going to show us again? Oop. There. No. Ah, oh, that was a very cool animation. <laughs> All right, this is where we uh, we put our little our cyber enhancements in. A little index there. Ooh, human heart. So this is what I've got at the moment. All the human stuff at the moment. Click to view. Ooh, zoom in on his eyes. So these are our augments there for our eyes. Uh, of course, I've left the augments over uh, at our sorting base which I'm just coming to get now, over here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not... Oh, this this building is... Blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's ugly. It's it's ugly. It's already... It's always just kind of hacked together, kind of just to get something going. But uh, yeah, not not a huge fan, I have to say, of our of my little building here, guys. Uh, he's pretty cool, though. <laughs> Good to have one of those guys running around. Uh, cyberware, though, is in here. So here's all the augments we can have. Hmm, alright, I think I'll just take this whole thing here and take this back to the base and then we can use it there. Yes. Okay, so what have we got? Biker jacket, truffle from Animania. Somehow I don't think that belongs to Cyberware. <laughs> Ooh, cardiovascular harnesses the body's electrical pulses, produces six power when in use. Ooh. 
We might take one of those and things. What else? We've got all oh, cyber leg. Uh, requires, see, some of these now, look, enables cyber leg upgrades. Requires 10 power per second when in use. So some of these cost power. You see there, there's a tolerance cost. So we have a certain level of tolerance here, uh, which I think is 100 there. And as we put more... Um, what do we call these? Enhancements? I'm thinking enhancements, but that's not the right, right word I'm thinking of. <laughs> As we put more of them in, that will go down. So, for example, if, if this uh, cardiovascular coupler costs us 15. So let's put this in, actually. Let's have a look here. Uh, let's have a look at... Ooh, our heart. Is this our heart one here? Zombie? Shush! Can we put this in here? Like here? Mm, oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he in us? Oh, missing heart will cause death. Um, that's not good. Uh, human heart will be removed. Well, we don't want that to actually be the case. Where, where's this? Oh, where's the salvage? Oh, there. Oh, it's just not rendering. Oh, it was just behind the slot there. Oh, okay. Ah, we're just going to have to keep an eye on that, I guess. Um, so is our human heart... Okay, so our human heart is there. Click to remove. Okay, so can we put this there next to it? Like here or here? Ooh. Oh, we can. Okay, so our tolerance has gone down to 85 because this one costs 15. And this produces power and there's things coming and we're about to die. And oh, this is... Oh, 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 oh we don't. <laughs> Lucky um, I slept in this bed just here and we're, we're right here. Uh, I think I need to put some glass in. Uh, it's a bit dark, guys, but there's a cyber zombie. So this is, we've seen before, this is where we get our little components from cyberware. Did this guy drop anything? Did he drop that just then? Because, or is that the one we had in there before? Did he drop anything? Didn't look like it, though, if there was anything else. No. Ah, oh, what a shame. Uh, but we can make more of those cyber zombies as well. We can make sure there's more spawn in uh, a bit later with cyberware as well. I can't get in my base. Uh, whoop, no, that's a... <laughs> yeah, did that well. Okay, so I put in some windows, guys. <laughs> uh, so there's some things here. This requires cyber eyes. So to have a HUD uh, head-up display, this would be really cool. But we need cyber eyes, which we don't have yet. Uh, distance enhancer, so we can zoom in. That's, again, we require cyber eyes. This one, a threat matrix calculator, so we could dodge. That This looks actually pretty cool. So we, we'll take that, and a salvaged right cyber leg. Goes in the leg slot, and so he requires a bit of power too. So, all right, there's some things here that are going to require more power than I think we can give. Uh, so this one needed, which one? The cranium slot. So, probably somewhere in the head. <laughs> uh, hmm, cranium slot? This guy? Is this the cranium slot? Human brain. Uh, let's see, where is it? This one. Hmm, you go in here. Oh, it's a bit of a bummer we can't see it there, isn't it? Requires 8 power. A lot of these things require power, which means we're going to have to make some power. Now, here's a battery. Uh, in, we can put in the lower organ slot. <laughs> which is the lower organ slot? Maybe this one? Right now, guts. Human stomach. <laughs> uh, yep. Yes, okay. Our tolerance is going down. Hmm. I wonder I wonder if there's something interfering with the rendering there, guys. It's a bit of a bummer that we can't see it. And then we'll put this guy down in the leg. Uh, actually, leg slot there. And then put him in here. Yes. Okay. This one. Myro battery. So another battery, but goes into a bone slot. Which one's the bone slot? Any slot? Um, hmm, that one? I don't know, or is that the heart slot? Uh, human lungs, oh, this could be breathing, so this one may not go in there, no, okay. Alright, so you get the idea, guys, we sort of just put some stuff in our body there. What else is in the index here? Ah, this is just showing what we've got. Uh, leg slot. Oh, he's a bit outlined there. What's all that about? Is there anything, any issues there? Our tolerance has gone right down. We can actually improve on that rather than using salvaged parts. So let's see. I've got a bit of a checklist. So we've done that and done that and assembled it. We've killed some cyber zombies before. 
Uh, we've put in some augments, cyberware charger. Now this is what we're going to need to charge up those ones that need power. So to make a cyberware charger, oh that's not too bad. Uh, recipe, yep, yep. So uh, okay. Now here's our funky <laughs> redstone. Is this going to let us um, let us craft it? This is this is the question. Yep, oh, it worked that time. Hmm, bit hit and a miss, I think. <laughs> uh, let's see if we put our charger. Actually, uh, we'll put it up here. We can t clean it up later. But it takes RF, so we need to uh, produce some RF here. Uh, ooh, we might just get a cheapo generator, I think. Okay, I made a furnace generator from Neotech because I don't know if we've used it for anything and I can't remember ever of my having made this generator before. So, it's just like a furnace generator, I gather. Ooh, energy stats. Oh, this one's actually pretty cool. Ah, burn solid fuel, process upgrades. Oh, you can give it a pro upgrades. Okay. Hard drives. Huh. Interesting. Oh, well, there's another one we'll have to look at soon, guys. Is uh, Neotech, and I guess this is where our upgrades go. Huh. All right, let's let's chuck that in. Hopefully, that's going into here. Ah, oh, yes, we can see on our uh, on our display there on the one probe. So now to charge our stuff, I think we just we just stand on here to charge up our augments. Now, is there a way? If we had the HUD, <laughs> we'd probably be able to see our power level and things. But uh, we need some cyber eyes from some more zombies. Well, at least we've got a way to charge things now. Uh, that's good. Uh, so we've got that. We can reverse engineer some parts. Now we can build a scanner or an engineering table. So a scanner takes... Scanner, scanner. There's a lot of scanners. Which one do we want? We want that one. Which takes... Ooh, okay. Cyber eyes. We'll see, so there's a cyber eye there and a salvaged cyber eye. So the salvaged ones are the ones we get from the zombies. But we can deconstruct them to get blueprints while using either a scanner or, which we can't make because we don't have any cyber eyes, or the other one is the engineering table. So let's have a look at that one. What's the recipe for that? Is that a bit easier for us to make? Engineering table. Wow, there's a lot of engineering stuff. <laughs> How about I type a bit more? Engineering, oh, cyborg engineer blueprint archive, component box. Ooh. Could be interesting, that one. Uh, engineering table. Ah, we should be able to craft this. Okay, so engineering, cyberware engineering table crafted. Uh, ooh, okay. So now we need some paper and we need the thing to deconstruct paper. Let's see if this is going to work for me this time. Paper, can I take it out? No, I can't. So sometimes what happens, guys, is that. You know, I do a search and I can't actually take the thing out, so I have to close it and open it again. Oh, look, there's only 64 this time. <laughs> Bit flaky, this system, I think. We're going to have to look at maybe replacing that. Let's chuck the paper in there. So this is actually really quick to deconstruct things, but there's a chance... I think it does consume the item, So and there's a chance you don't actually get a blueprint from it. So... Oh, that truffle's still there. Um... Let's see, what do we want to deconstruct? Something, maybe with something we've already used, like the cardiovascular coupler. Hmm, what if we chuck that in here like that? 15 chance for blueprint. See, a pretty low chance for us to get the blueprint. Uh, but, let's go. What do we get? We get some microelectric cells and some synthetic nerves. Okay. But we didn't get a blueprint, so it means we can't actually craft that thing. Until we get a blueprint, then we can craft it. So, uh, what about this one? We'll give this guy a go as well. 15% chance for blueprint again, so that's pretty low. And we get a bioreactor. So we can break down these things to get these parts, and then we can use these to craft the parts, the add-ons for us. Uh, but we need the blueprints. So I've got to get the blueprints first, unfortunately. Uh, and that's going to need some more stuff. So what's this one? Distance enhancer, zoom. Something we want to, we can quite happily get rid of. Aquatic propulsion system, swimming faster. See, that would be handy, wouldn't it? Uh, what if we chuck these in here? What do we get from this? Glass. Oh! <laughs> Bummer. Hmm, okay. Hmm. We're going to need some more stuff, I think.
Okay, so we can attract more cyber zombies. Uh, we can actually make them spawn or have normal zombies turn into cyber zombies when they spawn by putting in a, a little implant, another implant that we haven't got yet. Um, so we can't use that, but there's a radio kit. So the radio kit here, if we craft this, uh, then this will uh, make the zombies <laughs> that spawn around us into the... Uh, Ooh, somebody threw there. <laughs> In into the cyberware zombies. Now that takes a bioreactor, didn't it? It takes a bio oh no, solid state circuitry and fiber optics. Now we're gonna have to try and get these from deconstruct deconstructing stuff. Uh what about this guy? Let's chuck him in. Yeah, didn't give us what we were after. Hmm, so I don't think we're gonna be able to have time to get one of those today. I might just have to hunt zombies in between episodes, uh, because we have run out of time, guys. <laughs> All right, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think of maybe focusing this series a little bit more on more the tech side of things, getting our base around here into, or really establishing ourselves here. What do you think? Um, I think that might be the way to go, get us sort of a, a bit of a goal, a bit more of a direction for this series. So let me know what you think. But hope you enjoyed it, guys. Hope the, this cyberware stuff looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking this, but uh, yeah, I need to kill some more zombies. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, yeah. No. See, it's been so long, guys, I pressed the wrong button. Hang on. Wait, wait. This one. <laughs> there we go. See you later.